welcome to virtual class of municipal corporation of greater mumbai education department i am mrs akshata kale and today we will learn english come on students we will move to the lesson subject is english of standard 3 and name of the poem is wash day Yes, dear children. Your W A S H wash and day. The meaning you know. Wash means washing the clothes. Okay. Your the meaning is washing the clothes and day means you know. Right. So wash day. This poem is written by Elizabeth F. Upson. Okay. Yes, see this. Water, water everywhere, isn't it? From this end to that end, from left side to right side, everywhere we can see water. This is a large body of water, bigger than sea. Okay, or we can see a big sea that is called as an ocean. O C E A N ocean, okay. Ocean is nothing but a big sea, okay. Here we can see water everywhere. Yes, dear children, this is the upper surface of the ocean. Now, inside the ocean, we can see so many types of fish, right? Here we can see. different types of grasses and also we can see different types of aquatic plants means the plants that grow inside the water okay this is the bottom of the sea or this is the bottom of the ocean got this now you can see here the color of the ocean See the color of water in the ocean. So nice, correct? It is blue in color. The color of the water is blue. Why it is blue in color? Do you know? Okay. Now one more thing is that we can see a uh, four. or leather type material isn't it this is also we can see in the ocean how we get these foam or leather in the ocean do you know yes if you don't know then we will go through this poem that is about the ocean okay and this is totally on the imagination the poet okay this is a imaginary poem wash day okay and we will go through this poem and we will try to understand how the leather forms in the ocean and how the color of the water changes to blue in the ocean got this yes this is page number 73 of your textbook Yeah, this poem has eight lines. Correct. And the name of the poet is Elizabeth F. Upson. Yes, students. First, we will try to understand some new meanings. Okay. You can see here two children, brother and sister. Name of the sister is Ruta Gupta. Okay, and name of her brother is Rahul Gupta. Yes. If you ask her her name, then what she will say? She will say, "Hi, I am Miss Ruta Gupta." See what she used here. I am Miss Miss Ruta Gupta. Okay. If you ask 
Rahul, his name, then how he will say? He will say, Hi, I am Master Rahul Gupta. For this, she used here Miss and Rahul used Master. Okay? Please get the difference of meaning. Okay, if the girl is there, then we use miss. And if a boy is there, then we use master. Okay. Now, here you can see mother and father of Ruta and Rahul. Okay. He is the father of Ruta. See here. His name is Rohit Gupta. Okay, and mummy's name is Reshma Gupta. Okay, now how he will say his name? Yes, I am Mr. Rahul Gupta. What he will say? I am Mr. Rahul Gupta. See here again. Here he used Mr. Okay, not Master. Okay. And what about this Reshma Gupta? What she will say? The Reshma will say, Yes, I am Mistress Reshma Gupta. Okay, here also you can see here, Rohit said Mr. And Reshma used Mistress. Okay, for female or for girl we use Mistress. And for boy or gents, we use Mr. Got this children? Okay. Now one more thing is there. That if we want to write Mr. Then we can use here MR. This is the short form of Mr. What? MR. Okay. Now for mistress we can use MRS. Okay. Mistress. Or we say Mrs. Got this children? Okay, I hope you understood about this. Yes. Here you can see four pictures. A girl, a boy, a man and a woman. Okay. See here. And here you can see the names. Miss Hema. Second is Mr. Ramesh. Here yeah, Mrs. Jaya. And here yeah, Master Pratik. Yes, can you tell me who is Miss Hema here? Yeah? Yes. Come on, guess. Is she a Hema or this one is Hema? See here, what is used? Miss. M-I-S-S. Miss Hema. Yes, you are right. Miss Hema is this girl. We will write this name here. Okay. Now, we will go to Mr. Ramesh. See, he is Mr. Ramesh. Isn't it? Okay. Very good. Now, Mrs. Jaya. Yes, you are right. She is Mrs. Jaya. And the last one, Master Pratik. Got this children? I hope you understood it. between Miss and Master, Mr. and Mrs. Okay? In this poem, here it is taken as Mrs. Ocean. Okay? Means she is a lady. For this children, Mrs. That is M R S. That is in short short form. Okay. First, we will read the poem Wash Day. Mrs. Ocean takes in washing. Every day the whole year through. And she uses so much bluing that it stains the water blue. 
I have seen the soap suds floating when the waves were rough and high. But I never have discovered where she hangs the clothes to dry. Poet Elizabeth F. Upson. Once again we will read this. Mrs. Ocean takes in washing every day the whole year through and she uses so much bluing that it stays the water blue. I have seen the soap suds floating when the waves were rough and high but I never have discovered where she hangs the clothes to dry. Yes, now we will go through the meaning of this imaginary poem. Okay? This is not a real one. This is imaginary. Okay. Mrs. Ocean takes in washing every day the whole year through. Means she is washing the clothes. When she is washing the clothes? Throughout the year. She is Mrs. Ocean. She is washing her clothes. And she washes the clothes daily throughout the year. She will not skip a single day. For this, she washes her clothes daily. And while washing, she uses bluing. See here. And she uses so much bluing that it stays the water blue. She is using blue to make her white color clothes shine. Dear children, mother may be using this blue to make the white clothes more white and make them shine. See here, I will tell you. See this, this is a white cloth, isn't it? When we use white clothes, more time, then slowly it turns to yellowish. Then what we do? We use blue. Okay. When we put this blue in the water and when we dip the white color clothes in that blue water, then the white color clothes, they shine. For this, so we use blue while washing the white color clothes. Okay. Here also Mrs. Ocean uses blue to tighten the clothes. Okay. And that blue, it stains the water of the ocean blue. The next is, I have seen the soap suds floating. See here, soap suds. Soap suds means foam or leather. Formed in soapy water. Okay. I have seen the soap suds floating when the waves were rough and high. Yes, how is our imagination? You can see here. Because this Mrs. Ocean, she is washing her clothes daily, isn't it? So, she makes the soap water to wash the clothes. Because of this soap water, the ocean gets foam or leather in its waves. Got this children? This is the poem totally based on the imagination of our poet Elizabeth F. Upson. Then what she says? But I never have discovered where she hangs the clothes to dry. The clothes to dry. Yes, here the poet says that I know she washes the clothes. She uses blue. Okay, because of that the water turns to blue. And I know she is using the soap water to wash the clothes. Because of that, we get the foam or leather in the rough waves of the ocean. But, I wonder, 
that where she hangs the clothes to dry. I never have discovered this. Yes, here we can see water everywhere. But I never see the clothes hanging to dry. Anywhere near the ocean. Got this children? This is about the poem. Wash day. Very simple poem and small poem. Yes. Please try to learn this poem by heart. Okay. Only eight lines you can see in this poem. Got this? Shall we move to the hard words? Yes. See, a yeah, bluing. Bluing means blue substance that is used in washing to make yellowing fabrics look whiter. You can see here the white clothes. They are blue. Got this? So that they become whiter and they shine. Okay? Next one, stains. What is the meaning of stains? See here. Can you see here the ink, blue ink? That is nothing but stain. Stain means here color. Okay? This is called blue stain. Soap suds. See this? This is nothing but soap suds. Who washes means your clothes in your house or leather or mother formed in it? soapy water. So, you have seen this one in the house. Correct? This ocean is called as it is called the soap suds. Okay. okay. Next, discover. Second question. A little bit. What does this ocean is do find? every day? Or yes. learn something that nobody had found. Answer. Or new business. Yes. Ocean takes in this washing is a new day. Without nobody any. had found or escaped new before. She washes her clothes okay. every day. Isn't it? Now we will move to the exercise question. Answer the following questions. Why does the sea water turn blue? First question. What is the ocean the called now? In this Isn't poem. It? Yes. The sea water turns blue. The answer. Because Mrs. The ocean, ocean is called doing so much yes. that it stays the right. The ocean is using called blue. Mrs. Ocean. Isn't it? In this poem. So, Okay. Yeah, Mrs. Ocean, ocean turn blue. She is washing her clothes. Right? Fourth question. What do the waves breaking on the shore look like? Answer. The waves breaking on the shore look like soap suds. You know the meaning of soap suds. Isn't it? A foam or leather. Correct? The poet uses her imagination to talk about Mrs. Ocean. Right? In this poem, Washley, the poet described about Mrs. Ocean according to her imagination. Isn't it? Now, your question is Can you use your imagination to talk about the following? First one, Mr. Moon. Second, Mr. Sun. Miss Earth. Isn't it? Now, dear children, I will tell you about Mr. Moon. Only one. Okay? Then you have to imagine about Mr. Sun and Miss Earth. Okay? See here, Mr. Moon. You can write anything different. Here only one example I have given. Okay. There is a man in the moon. He sails in the sky in his boat. He collects the milk from the Milky Way. Yes, this is according to my imagination about Mr. Moon. You can imagine differently. 
you can write your own imagination about mr moon mr sun and miss earth okay try to do this thank you dear children now thank you very much students for being a part of this lesson please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get new updated videos